Hey guys, it's Dennis here with Stick Mobility. We're just taking you through a little bit of a flow. Uh, this is one I like to do uh, after I get done playing hockey. People that are in reflection a lot of times, if you've been sitting all day long, this will be a good one for you also, especially if you've been hunched over the computer all day long. So we're gonna set up into our half kneeling position. I'm just gonna take the stick and I'm gonna put it in front. So I'm gonna push down on the stick at about 50%. I'm gonna bring proximal stability to the trunk. I'm going to pull my scapula down towards my back pocket. My back ankle is in the extended position. I'm going to gently start to push the stick down at about 40% into the ground, and I'm going to match that with my back foot to activate the anterior aspect of the quad. Then from this position, I'm going to do a posterior pelvic tilt, and I'm going to stretch a nice big activation and stretch to the front. We'll hold that for about six to, for about ten seconds. Then I ease off, relax a little bit, and then I engage again. Engage with the stick, then engage with the foot, posterior pelvic tilt, and stretch. Ten seconds. Ease off. And now we're gonna go again. Push. Push the back foot. Squeeze the glute, posterior pelvic tilt, and stretch. Now from here, since playing hockey, as I'm striding, I'm pushing my leg out to the side. I want to therefore do some recovery work on that. So now from this angle, I'm going to actually start to take my foot out wider, not forward more. So now I'm going to reposition. I'm spreading the hips laterally a little bit more. Still stick in front. Same sequence. Push down on the stick. Activate the back foot. Posterior pelvic tilt. And as you take the hips a little bit wider, you start to feel a lot more through the adductor line. 10 seconds. Ease off. Push. Shoulders down. Back foot pushing, posterior pelvic tilt. And relax. Now I'm going to take it even wider again. I'm going to keep the stick right in the middle. Push down on the stick about 40%. Match with the back foot. Squeeze the right glute. Posterior pelvic tilt. Ten seconds, then ease off, engage, push the back foot, squeeze the right glute, posterior pelvic tilt. And then we relax. Now from here, I want to make I want to keep that distance here. So now I'm going to bring the stick to the front, to the side, keep it in front of the back quad. I'm going to have my hand a little above my head, so I'm on the top of my grips. We have the five foot stick here. I'm just going to gently push my hand, to push the stick down into the ground, about 40%. Make sure the scapula is pulled back. And now I'm going to sink into my left leg. I want to try to actually, as I'm pushing the stick down, I actually want to reach the stick away from me also. So now I'm going to feel a nice, Big stretch as I sink into that left leg. Ease off. And again, push and sink. I'm keeping this back hip in extension because as I'm skating, I'm basically sprinting on ice, but I'm in a flexed position. So I want to make sure I bring this back into extension. Knees back. Take my watch off since that became whatever. Okay. So now we engage again. Now this time I'm going to bring my arm across. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sink. So I'm going to try to keep my hand here on the stick. I'm going to open up this whole right side of the ribs and the chest. Ease off, 
and again. Sinking into the left hip. I maintain the same position. Now I'm going to bring the stick to the left side. Okay. I'm going to put it right on the outside of my left foot. I switch arms. Now I have the left hand on top. I push the stick down gently into the floor. I'm going to start to pull that arm back, squeezing the right glute, posterior pelvic tilt. Opening up the spiral line. Easing off. And again, pushing the left hand down on the ground about 40%, sinking into this left hip. Right glute is activated. Posterior pelvic tilt to get this nice stretch here. Pulling that left arm back. So all the muscles that I've used playing hockey, now I'm just stretching them out a little bit, bringing a little bit of strength and activation to them. I'm going to feel a nice stretch to this adductor line, pushing that back foot into the ground, easing off. Now I can bring both hands across and do the same thing. Now I'm putting myself in a little bit more rotation. You're going to start to feel that strengthening through this left side. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, I move the stick in. So now as I shift my weight into my left hip, I'm actually going to use the stick as resistance and activate this outer left line at the same time that I'm activating this back leg. So I'm going to push the stick into the ground. I'm going to push this knee out, this leg out against the stick. I'm going to split the hips. So I'm creating much more spread through the hips. Right glute is activated. Back foot is pushing into the ground. Ease off. You can bring in the stick in underneath a little bit more to create a little bit more resistance. From there, we can go into the pigeon pose. So I've opened up this left hip pretty good and the right hip. So I'm going to start with the left hip in front in the pigeon pose. Stick in front. Back foot is driving into the floor about 40%. Push the stick into the ground and just slowly start to walk my hands up. Squeezing that right glute, and you really want to start to open up the anterior line on the right side. Now, at the same time, I want to, as I'm pushing that back foot into the floor, I also want to start to slide it back. So I start to open up the posterior side on this left side. Ease off, walk the hands down a little bit and then back into it. Activate, push that, I'm pushing that right leg into the ground, pushing the stick into the floor, and I'm pushing that right foot back a little bit farther, sinking into that left hip. I'm gonna try to reach up a little bit higher. Breathing through the diaphragm. Remember, we relax. Walk the hands down. Now we're going to bring some rotation. So I'm going to take my right hand, move it to the top. Bring my left hand with a thumb down. I'm going to start to pull the stick back. And I'm going to sink forward, chest up.
Now from here, I'm going to take this left hand and the right hand. I'm going to gently just start to pull, compress in on the stick, like I'm trying to shorten the stick. It'll help pull you a little bit more into rotation. Ease off a little bit. And again, pull the right arm back. Now compress in on the stick. Ease off a little bit. Bring the stick back to the front. And slowly start to bring yourself out of it.